All right, you guys got your music on? I have the tiger. <laughs> Whatever motivates you. Oh, it's cold. We were gonna build a fire to uh, warm this place up and the fire did not light up, so. I didn't even light it. <laughs> Do you know how fires work? <laughs> what? Oh, James sweats a lot, so he didn't even want the fire on. He was supposed to work on it and he didn't. Jeez. Way to go, James. Way to disappoint me. All right, so we're warming up because it's important to get the muscles warm before we uh, really work it intensely. So swinging those arms, engage those hip flexors. You can do it very. <laughs> James is a firefighter and he actually has to do like military style walking. <laughs> we don't do military style walking. You don't? No, it's well, that stuff. Actually, kind of. All right, it's, big arm circles. It's paramilitary service, so. Hey, join, James, James joins. That's a tongue twister. James joins. James joins me for boot camp when he doesn't have to work. Reverse direction. I forgot to meet everyone. I have to meet you all in case you start screaming in pain. I just don't want to hear it. <laughs> Just don't want to hear it. Okay. All right, now we can squat. So take your feet a little bit outside of shoulder distance. Toes and knees turns out. Try to keep that chest up. Great way to warm up the lower body. Also think about keeping the abdominals braced. Eye gaze forward. The depth at which you drop your boot, T, but <laughs> let me start that sentence over. The depth at which you lower your butt uh, is up to you. Two more. And what next? Lunges. Static or alternating? Yeah, so stay, stay with the same position of your feet. Nice long stride. I'm just showing the profile. You can stay facing forward. Bend the back knee down to about ankle heights. Both knees hitting about 90 degrees at the bottom. Again, you don't have to go that low, um, but I wouldn't go as low as hitting your back knee to the floor. Yeah, give me a, a what? That was eight. Okay. So one of us doesn't know how to count and it's probably me. All right, turn around, other leg in front. You don't have to turn around, you can just switch your legs. It's like we're on Sesame Street and learning how to count. Nine, 10, oh, I thought we were doing 12. That's the problem, we're doing different numbers. All right, we're gonna go down to the floor for a plank. So you can do a plank on your elbows as well. Anytime we do uh, planks today, if you prefer doing it on your elbow, go for it. Um, when we do push-ups today, if you don't want to do push-ups, if you have dumbbells at home, you want to do some chest presses, you can do that. Um, this is a bodyweight workout since we don't have equipment here, so we won't be doing anything with dumbbells, but that doesn't mean you can't modify the workout however you'd like. Uh, if you also really hate doing push-ups, you could, you know, do planks or other abdominal exercises, anything you want. Today's workout is 40 seconds. 40 seconds, 40 seconds, 40 seconds. We're doing 40s. So 40 seconds of upper body, 40 seconds of lower body, 40 seconds of abs. And then next round is 40 seconds, upper body, lower body, cardio. All right? So in between all that, there's gonna be another 40 second break. So 40, 40, 40, even, you know, back to back exercises, 40 second break, repeat. Then we move on to the next round. Make sense? Did you do push-ups yet? What? We're doing push-ups? All right. I, I always deliberate with myself whether to do push-ups in the warm-up or not. Push-ups are so hard. Might as well just keep it for the workout. Thousand All right. If you're not if you're not sweating yet, uh, feel free to uh, ease into the workouts. We're gonna start the timer. First exercise is gonna be mountain climbers. All right. That's kind of in a plank push-up position. All right. Let me. Make sure this clock is really loud enough here. 
Oh, there it is. That's the beep. Okay, the clock works. Are you ready? We're gonna do mountain climbers. Um, oh, let me quickly tell you what we're doing. Mountain climbers, reverse lunges with the chop. So stepping back, chop towards your front leg. And then we're gonna do um, a cardio thing of knee, kick, knee, kick. All right, just to get the heart rate up. And that is our first round. Let's hope I remember those three exercises. Mountain climber, wrist underneath the shoulders. You're in a high plank position. Aim to pull those knees in. 40 seconds of work. You can run it or you can switch it like this. You can't really do this, unfortunately, on your elbows. There's no space underneath your legs. So if you like, uh, if this bothers your wrist, you can do a plank on your elbows and hold it. All right, make sure your butt doesn't cheat upward. Right, up here, we don't want it up there. Want it at shoulder height. Wrist stay right underneath the shoulders the whole time. We got about five seconds. Getting ready for reverse lunges. Feet, we step back. Chop. Like you're chopping wood for your fire that you're gonna light later tonight. You know the best thing about having a fireplace is like you can burn a lot of things instead of recycling it. Like when you order Domino's pizza, you can take that box and you just throw it in the fireplace. I don't know, I get a lot of joy out of that. And then when you finish your roll of toilet paper, that center roll, you can throw it in the fireplace. Now make sure you're chopping towards the front leg. Time for our cardio. Knee, kick, knee, kick. This is like the can-can, the rockets. You can keep a low impact, or you can add a little bounce, which is what I'm doing. After this is a 40 second break, and we're going right into the mountain climbers. And then the reverse lunge shot. I can't talk anymore. <laughs> Three seconds. My nose. All right, you get 40 seconds. Break. Green tea is calming. Hmm. All right, you can drink whatever you want. All right, we have about 22 seconds left. And we're going right back to repeating all those. Same things. All right, we good? All right, who needs this break? <laughs> Five seconds, let's go. Here we go. Long beep, means it's ready to go. When you're doing mountain climbers, have a slight bend in your elbows. So you're really working the shoulders and arm muscles. In general, you don't want to lock out that joint, the elbow joint. Now for the knees, think about pulling it in. Pull, 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 pull. Wow, this is quite cardio. In addition to upper body. All right, reverse lunges. When you start hearing those final three second beeps, it means it's the transition time. You can either finish whatever it is you're working on or start to stand up and move into the next exercise. For the reverse one, you wanna make sure you step back big enough so you can bend both knees to 90 degrees. Chest stays up. Chop. Right-handed chopper, left-handed chopper. You may not be aware of this, but I grew up in Wyoming and I actually did wield an ax and actually chop firewood. That's what we do in Wyoming. Here's fun. But I don't miss Wyoming. You miss the fireplace, huh? All right, let's really get that heart rate up there. 
20 seconds to go. And then we got a 40 second rest. And James will tell you what the next round three exercises are. Who likes cardio? <laughs> oh. This is very, uh, this is very Bali X ish. No, it's not. Right it's not Bali X at all. Yeah. <laughs> and even if it was, James would have loved it. Yeah. That's um, what he likes. All right. So we're going to do three exercises. Um, if that's directly in the way. <laughs> we're going to do. Um... <laughs> that was so weird. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, option one. Get on fours, get your knee off the ground. Keep your back nice and straight, right? So this is my knee on the ground. This you is got my 10 knee seconds. Ground, right? You're just gonna come out and you're just gonna alternate each side. All right, try not to overshift. Second option is to stay nice and low. Bring yourself forward, out, out. Push yourself back, stay nice and low. Bring yourself forward, out, out. Then push yourself up, right? It's the most, it's the more complicated movement. Everything else will kind of fall right into. Um, the next movement is a squat, staying low, going to your knees, coming back up. And the third one is a hollow fly, which is just bringing your arms and knees up. Yeah, right. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna jump in for the second one to show options. All right, starting in 12 seconds. All right. So this is basically like a rear fly. When you lift your arms, you're flapping your wings to the side. Up. All right, so all you have to do slight shift up the hip, core is nice and tight, keep your backs flat. Don't round up the back too much. All right, second option is you're gonna push off, stay nice and low, bring yourself forward, out, out. Push back up. Make sure your feet are at least hip distance apart. You don't want your feet together. All right. All right. <laughs> you can just kind of walk the hand too if you want. Out. Yeah, that propulsion out. push off is hard. Walk yourself back. Out, out. All right, we gotta do this. Squat the knee thing. James is going to his knees. So we're here. And Walk I am not down. going to my knees. Walk it back up. Alternating legs. Don't slam the knee on the ground. That's really tough. Stay low. Here's another option too. You can do a lunge back squat. Lunge back, squat. Lots of options here. Challenging the lower body. All right, off from that, lady. Oh. All right. I've lost my use. We're down. Go, go. Everything's down. Everything's up. Like you're hugging the air. You can't have your legs higher because the lower your legs are, the more challenging it is to stay imprinted. You bring it all the way up. So if you feel anything in your lower back, you can have your legs higher, just higher and then don't go as low. Stay right up here. Yeah, stay in the 90 to 70 degree range. <laughs> 40 seconds break. And we're going back to the first exercise. No, 40 seconds. All right, what was the first exercise? Oh, yeah. The bear plank. Man, bear, pig, curl. If bears did planks, this is what they would look like. <laughs> All right, 15 seconds. Now, these are just the rest and work times uh, we come up with. We change it up all the time with every boot camp class. If you need a longer break, take a longer break. If you don't want a break, you could have done all right. a ton more push-ups just now. <laughs> out, out, walking it back, sitting into it. Walking it into position, out, out, walking it back, all right? You just stay here, which believe it or not, is actually more challenging for me than it is to push myself off. The push off gives you a little break. Come back. <laughs> but the push off is hard. All right. You 
Don't go to your knees. Go to your should knees. Should separate these two now I think about it. Well, I didn't know you were going to do something. <laughs> so during these three 40-second ones, there's no rest in between. You just go from one to the other. Take all the time you need to transition, of course. Um, but just to remind, there isn't an official rest until after three sets of 40 seconds. Yeah. So, so if you don't like being on your knees, you can do what I'm doing. James usually does this in a gym with a barbell or weights on his back. Aren't you happy we don't have weights? Water, go. Oh, yeah. Right yeah. James. <laughs> Come on, James. He forgot that there's no break. He sure took his time with that transition. <laughs> Stop laughing. <laughs> Get to work. This is the part where everyone kind of disappears from their camera because their camera's angled at their faces and they're on the ground. <laughs> I know. I can't even see a foot. I can't even see a foot in the air and I'm like, oh, they're still doing it. They're still there. All right, you guys get 40 seconds off. All right, what we got here? Squat jump to cartwheel. Oh, this was uh, requested by Lynn. The cartwheel. I can't remember this. All right, so we do a squat jump. You don't have to jump, you can do the squat. And then here's the cartwheel. Oh, I never said I could do a real cartwheel. So we're not doing real cartwheels. It's called a gorilla curl. I know. Um, some call it the, uh, James calls it the gorilla shuffle. Or gorilla crawl. And I just added a squat jump to it. And then that's actually the upper body, believe it or not. That's not the lower body. The lower body is three chunks. One, two, three, touchdown. One, two, three, touchdown. All right, and then we'll do some cardio at the end. So it's over. Go. I was just pausing it earlier. Okay, in 10 seconds. So a squat jump into a gorilla shuffle, or what I call it, a, <laughs> a terrible cartwheel. Hey! Do we even know how to do a real cartwheel? I did gymnastics from like age 7 to 11 or something. <laughs> Basically transfer all your weight to your hands. A little kick off the feet, right into a squat jump if you want, or right into a straightening of your legs. All right, we got our chunks. I know your legs are a little tired. We go one, two, three, touchdown. One, two, three, touchdown. Why are we doing this touchdown? We have three little jumps, which keeps your leg muscles loaded. But the touchdown, keeping the chest and eye gaze up, really forces you into that deep squat, all right? Because if you have to keep your chest up and your eyes up and touch the ground, you gotta bend your legs. Otherwise, you can do this. My legs are straight, my chest dropped. It's not what we want. Ooh, that is definitely lower body. And we got our cardio. What are we doing? Butt kickers, eight. High knees for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, butt for eight. High knees for eight. You know, I hate both of these so much. I didn't want to do just one of them. So I split the two exercises. So I wasn't stuck with doing just one of them. High knees, pump those arms. And butt kickers. Eight, seven, six. If you don't like counting, then don't count. Just kind of go between the two. Oh, and that's your cardio. We start with a squat jump, gorilla shuffle, or as I like to call it, the squat jump. Uh, short person car wheel. Fifteen seconds. Whew. My heart rate is really high, which is the point. The point of boot camp is to elevate that heart rate. 
We're gonna work the heart and our muscles. All right, it's like you're doing a cartwheel. You're trying to take up very little space. I don't know why I'm holding my hands here. <laughs> reach higher. <sighs> nice. Oh my gosh. Some of you are jumping like you want to punch a hole through your ceiling. Nice job. Jeez. All right. I know our legs are tired. We're going into the three, two, one, touchdown. Three, two, one, touchdown. These are very small jumps. And if you don't want to jump, you can walk it. All right? You go right, left, right, left, right, left. Either way, when you don't strain your legs all the way, maximal burning in our glutes and our quadriceps. I know you feel it. Now do your best to keep your chest and eyes up. Yeah, your chest drops a little bit, but Hopefully, it's your butt that's dropping the most. Butt kickers, eight. Knee ups, eight. When I say knee ups, you try to get it to about waist height. Oops. A little higher than what I was doing. I'm doing uh, four on each side. But, you know I don't know how to count, so probably not getting there. Keep alternating. Pump those arms. Chest is up. Forty seconds. Actually, you guys have been getting more. You guys have been getting uh, forty times two. Eighty seconds. All right. As you rest, I'll show you what we're doing next. So we're down. I'm gonna go for a tricep dip. Three. One, two, three. On the third, you're gonna raise your foot. Raise your foot. Well, you'll go three and then do the other side. Or you're gonna go one, two, three, and a reach. One, two, three, and a reach. All right? You have options there. Um, second exercise is. Side lunge is what? Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna go side lunge. Jane is going to run out of room. <laughs> side lunge. <laughs> Squat. Well, when you go to your side lunge, you're going to reach. Oh, my God. I can, I'm definitely out of space. This is a more of a short person. Here, I'll do it. I'll do it. <laughs> okay, do that last one. And the last one is... Pike plank to pike jump. Oh, yes. So, low plank. You're going to walk. Feet up. Here, you want your butt in the air. You can walk it back. Or you can walk it up. And you can hop back. Yep. You can also do this on your wrist, um, but this actually adds a little more challenge when you're on your forearms, given the shoulders. Okay? All right, I'm going to jump in on the second exercise uh, just because of James being too tall. I'm not too short. He is too tall, just for clarification here. All right, who's ready for triple dips? Turn your fingers toward your butt. Let's triple dip the right way. Ready? Yeah. I dip, you dip, we dip. Reach. I dip, you dip, we dip. <laughs> Reach. Alright. Simple as that. Alright. So that Bend your once, you come up, <laughs> once you come up, you're gonna feel it all here. So if you have your elbows turned awkwardly, you're not gonna feel it where you're supposed to. Alright. You can do a leg lift without the opposite arm reach. You can also do non-stop dips. She's really, really tough with the triceps. Yeah, that would suck. All right, we got about five seconds here. All right, so we can go into a side lunge like this, reach. What? Oh, sorry. <laughs> that's, that's what I want to do. Reach, reach, reach as you bend the knees. Sorry about that jump. Okay, reach. <laughs> as you bend the knees. So this does work 
the shoulders a little bit because as you're dropping down, our tendency is to want to drop the chest. We're really forced, forced to keep the chest up. <laughs> Jade, you're too tall. Get out of the picture. Okay. Onto his forearms. All right. You can walk or jump back into that plank. You can do it high. All right. Just walk your butt up. And then you can walk it back. All right. Just kind of tiptoeing. Right. Head down. Head back, right? Make sure you let that nice plank. Core is engaged. You don't want to end up down here. All right. Walk it in. Hop back, right? It's a little hop. Nothing too crazy. Rarely do we want to see your butts in the air, but here we, we want you to. Thirty seconds rest, and we're going back into the triple dips and reach. Yeah, stay there. Yeah. So remember when you're doing the triple dips, it's about bending and straightening your elbows as opposed to lowering and lifting your butt. We're just gonna have a moment of silence for our triceps. <laughs> yeah, both movements activate the triceps. Let's exercise. So 10 seconds, guys. Is this your sweat towel? <laughs> <laughs> Three, two, one. Uh, Reach. Alternate. You don't really need to bend your elbows that much. Um, the moment you bend it and then really focus on straightening it, you'll feel it in your tricep. Because almost all your body weight's on those arms, so you're going to feel it the moment you try to straighten it. Oh. Oh. This burns. Five seconds, and we're going to do our side lunge. All right, so side lunge here. Drop the butt as you press. Drop the butt as you press. Nice big step out. One of the reasons I'm reaching to the side is it puts more load on that bending knee. All right, the more you lean to the side, right? Without collapsing, that is. The more you'll feel it in that leg. Normally, we don't really do unsupported spine work, right? This is supported, this is unsupported. But we're here for just a brief moment. We're not hanging out in a pose there. All right, on your forearms or on your wrists. 40 seconds of work, and then you get another break. Looking good, looking good. Abs are braced before you jump your feet back. All right, 40 seconds. Take some water breaks. Yeah, I'm gonna pause this at 15. <laughs> All right, so we have a push-up, lunges, and again, our cardio. So for the push-up, hands nice and wide, probably wider than the mat. Again, you can do any push-up variation you want. For this particular exercise, if you're on your knees, you do it on your knees and come off. You take the leg opposite, kick it through. Thread it through. Push up, kick. And for a little more challenge, if you don't want to put the foot on the floor, like that. All right, the foot's off the floor. Oh, I don't know why I held it up. You don't have to hold it up. Just kick it there and come back out. All right, we got triple lunge chugs. So earlier we did this. Now we're gonna do the lunge version. So it goes one, two, three, switch. One, two, three, switch. One, two, three. If you have space, you can go in four. All right? And then if you 
Want you can go like this. Put. Well, you can just jump in place and switch. You, you could jump in place. I'd like to travel. Third. Uh, the third exercise is. Oh, you seen the triple run? One, two, three. One, two, three. I just made it a five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. A little more distance traveled. A little more fast feet. That's all. And I thought I would count to five today instead of three. Starting at eight. Push up, thread. Option to have the leg off the ground when you thread it through, or rest it on the ground. Try both. You never know what you're gonna hate until you try it. I mean, you never know what you're gonna love unless you try it. Ooh. Kind of a variation of a can can. We have a wood splinter here. Is this from the fireplace? <laughs> yeah, one of us misses that. Okay. Triple. Splinter here. Three, two, one. Switch. Three, two, one. You can step it in, step it back. Pulse for three. So the low impact version, pulse for three and a switch. All right, you don't have to make a jump. If you want to travel, you want to travel back, direction changes. Whenever I'm chugging, it's very, very small travel, right? I'm maybe moving, moving two inches at a time. Maybe I'll go forward now with my other leg in front. Do the backwards here. Always looking for variety. So. Five step, one, two, three, four, five. You ever seen the tire runs? It's like you're putting your feet in tires. So you gotta lift up the knee. Otherwise you're gonna trip over the tire. Pump the arms. If you can't count the five, two, threes. <laughs> I can never count. Pick up those knees. I can tell I'm getting tired because my knees aren't coming as high off the ground, or my feet aren't. Whew. 40 seconds. Now we're doing our push up, leg through. All right, we good? When we do that leg through, it's a little bit of obliques, all right? And when you kick the leg through and the leg stays off the ground, yes, it's, it's a lot of work, but you don't have to hold it up there. Kick it out there and pull it right back. All right? Give it a try if you didn't try it the first time. Here we go. Push up, kick. Push up, kick. Nice. You don't even have to kick your leg fully straight. And again, totally not a big deal to put the foot on the ground. Remember, you can do push-ups on your knees, come onto your toes, and then thread the leg underneath. Breathe, inhale down, exhale up. Three seconds. Oh. Chug here. Three, two, one. Switch. Three, two, one. I'm going back. You can stay in place. You can go laterally like I accidentally just did. <laughs> You're basically holding this 90 degree lunge position during the three chugs. That's what makes it so hard. I got, I do my, oh, oh that was more than five. <laughs> if you want to increase it, you gotta go to seven. You have to do an odd number, otherwise you won't switch lead leg. Three fives or sevens. Up, 
those arms. Do you feel like a football player? Imagine you're doing this on really, really hot coals. Better get your feet off the hot coals. Quick foot contest. Oh, oh. What is this? No. Oh. Splinters. Little wood splinters. So, back to push ups again because why not? So, we're going to do a three and three. So, it's three very low ones and three full ones, right? Again, you can do, feel free to do your push ups on your knees uh, if you need to, right? So, we're going to stay nice and low. Yeah. <laughs> we love you guys in the push ups, right? Going to stay nice and low, right? One, two, three, right? Come up, full push ups. One, two, Three, right? Go back down low. One, two, three, and so on and so on. Then we're going to do the hip bridge. So we're down, hips up. All right? We're going to walk the feet out. And we're going to walk it back. Notice his butt is off the ground. All right? Just walk it out as far out as you can and walk it back. All right? So you're going to feel a lot of that back here in the hamstring. And for, for the third, since we're already here, feet down, side to side, windshield. Aria, do it with your legs straight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Everyone else can do it with their knees then. <laughs> Just kidding. That was our demo. All, All right. right, guys, what's up positions? This one's really muscle. Strength intensive, not so much getting your heart rate up. Right, remember, a knees. lot of right. upper one, body strength. Two, three, come all the way up. One, two, three. All right, low. Full one, range versus partial two, range. Three, all the way up. One, two, three. Take your time. One, two, three. One, to Quality of movement is always more important than how. I always find knee push-ups to be more challenging. How fast you can do it. One, two, three. One, two, three. <sighs> On your back. Work those hamstrings and butts. Up. So, all right. As far as you can tolerate. All right. I'm on my heel. I'm gonna try to get your foot onto the ground. It's gonna be very awkward. On your heel and walk it back until your foot's flat. Yep, your toes won't make it to the ground the further you walk it out. You've walked it out too far if your butt hits the ground. You can take two, three, four steps out as much as you want. All right, just little steps, little baby steps. Keep the hips up, core is tight. Don't forget about your abs, that's right. Oh. Up. Side to side. You can do this with your legs up if you like, but it's going to be a lot more challenging. You want? You really want to try to keep both shoulder blades on the ground at all times. That's why our arms are out of the T. It helps to anchor the shoulder blades. And try to keep your knees as closely together as you can, unless you're a guide and don't do that. For reasons that only we know, guys. All right. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah. Rest and then. Repeat. This is the last round, guys. Give it all you got. We're stretching after this. I guess I think 40 seconds is long enough. Maybe we should do 45 next time. I feel like, you know, the, with the transition time, we end up getting like only 30, 35 seconds of work. <laughs> I can't hear your opinion, sorry. <laughs> We're doing 45 seconds next time. <laughs> Although I will say that 30 to 35 seconds of work is plenty.
I also want to apologize to Ingrid for not doing burpees today. <laughs> She's a burpee lover. She's a burpee lover. <laughs> what was that rest? <laughs> <laughs> Which one came next? <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> I, I will remind you next time. <laughs> So you'll notice that the further you walk your heels out, the more you're working your hamstrings. It is that quite easily uh, to get your hamstrings cramping up in this exercise? So listen to your body. All right. Abs. Windshield. Oh. <laughs> so the challenge of the windshield comes from how straight your legs are so you could have you know 45 degree knees 90 degree knees uh what's above 90 135 <laughs> 180 so that's when your legs are straight so again that's that's where the challenge is try to keep the shoulder blades both of them on the ground There's no rules about it needs to touch the ground on either side. It's just going side to side. That's it. Well done. We have about three minutes for stretch. So we're gonna do it. Should we stretch on the ground? No, there's not enough space for both of us. All right, so first let's get our quads because all the squats and lunges, definitely wanna stretch this hip flexor and the quad. Anytime we're doing high knee runs, we're working those hip flexors. Mountain climber is also a high knee run. It just happens to be horizontal. All right, so once you've kind of feel that relaxing into the lengthening, you can switch sides. It's about 20 seconds. I should keep the timer on, then I know that I'm actually stretching for 20 seconds. Keep the heel directly behind the same butt cheek. Heels don't share butt cheeks. They stay with the same side. All right, let's stretch our hamstrings and a little bit of IT band by doing a crisscross around the spine and reach down. Let your head hang nice and heavy. You'll most likely feel a little more stretch in the leg that's in the back. Stare at your kneecaps. If you're staring at the floor, it means you're engaging your neck muscles to lift your head. A truly relaxed neck and head means that the crown of your head is facing the floor and you're staring directly at your patella. All right, switch legs. And actively reach your arms for the floor, which also helps to separate your shoulder blades a little bit. So you kind of get that stretch across the upper back. Slowly roll up and let's stretch that chest. You can always use the wall if you want a deeper stretch. Here you are squeezing your shoulder blades together. Great for your posture. Do a lot of abs today, so let's stretch our abs. Lean back slightly, push your hips forward. Get a little bit into our obliques. Lean to one side, think up and then over. And then switch. Okay, we did a lot of push-ups today, which we already stretched our chest, but it actually also involves a lot of shoulders. So you want to make sure that your shoulders are nice and loose. Uh, finally, we did um, some jumping, so that involves your calves. So a quick calf stretch without having to use the wall. 
is to decrease the angle at your ankle. All right, so that's what I've done here. Keep the heel on the floor. And again, if you wanna, you know, multitask because that's what we do in life. Try to do multiple things in, in one. You can stretch your chest again while doing the calf stretch. And switch. I like uh, doing this chest stretch with the calves because it forces me to keep my chest up, which also then kind of gets into stretching the hip flexor. See how many muscles we can stretch at the same time? All right. Well done. Thanks for joining. I can't, I can't say this tongue twister. Joining James and me <laughs> for this boot camp workout. Oh gosh. Thank you. Thank you guys. You're welcome. Thank you. Guys. Thank you. Thank you.